Hello everyone, and in today's video we're going to be talking about constellations and how pay to win are they. So as you can see this is my box, I've been playing the game for let's just say over three years. Before the original IoT collab and before the release, the, before the release of the commandments, like the original commandments. Before the release of these guys, I think Molascular. I remember when Green Escal uh, Green was released, that, uh, that's how long ago. But let's see how strong Hold on, let's see how strong, let's see the true impact of Constellations. As you can see, I'm a free play player, and I have completed Constellation 4, and I'm currently 38.4% of the way to, uh, th sorry, through, uh, Constellation 5, which is, like, the big one that, like, you have to have a, a lot of the characters wailed out just to be able to, uh, complete this one. Which I may never complete, because I've still got to get another... 12 of these, which is another 30 each, that's another 360, and each one of these costs 30 each, that's like 4.5k, so it's like, it's a lot of GP points, uh, it's close to 5,000 GP points, or I think it's like, you get like 20 or 30 characters, so it's a lot of characters, but these are the points I'm just getting just from this current constellation, which is like 2.2% crit chance, sorry, ghost crit resistance, 2 resistance, a little bit of lifesteal, crit chance, crit damage, so on and so forth. But, as you can see here, these are all the stats I'm getting. I'm getting 665 attack, 855 defense, and 12,008 HP. The substats uh, do not appear on your, um, what do you call it, do not appear on your characters. If you were to go, if you were to, go to your characters, uh, they would still have, you know, their original stats. They wouldn't have these uh, increases from it. These only appear when you are in a actual game. <clears throat> These only appear when you're in game. The substats appear when you put them uh, on like a slot in your team. Then the substats will appear. Sorry, these stats will appear. The substats only appear uh, visible when you're in a uh, game and you can actually click on them. But how big is 13% crew resistance? Because you know, I get 13% crew resistance, which is actually quite insane. Now you think about it. Like, if you are a very whale player, you know, you're probably going to have a lot of extra you know, stats like these, and the extra resistance is insane, like, these extra defense-related stats is absurd, you know, I, you have a, but let's just say you're a brand new player, you have the exact, we have identical teams, but you have no constellations at all, you have, so we have the same box, you see, you, and you, you, you have zero constellations, you are, you're gonna have a lower, t you're gonna have a, a lower possibility of critting me, because I have higher crit resistance, and if you crit me, you're gonna be doing less, and also, you, you're just gonna be doing less damage in general because I've got more resistance and more defense and that's why it's kind of insane because a new player can be a, quite a big whale uh, a brand new player can stop playing the game and they can whale but their substats will still not be better than someone like me who's been playing for a long time due to the constellation system rewarding players who play uh, who've been playing for a longer time but also reward it rewards whales who've been playing for a long time as well it doesn't reward uh, either the newer players or the newer whales it only really rewards the older players and the older whales which is kind of good it is sort of like a a, a loyalty system one of my one of my friends who is a whale now he's been playing since um he started playing during uh festival gotha and uh what i mean by he's a whale i mean he's got six six new Aaron and he's got four six new levi so that kind of speaks a lot for itself he's got six six barn all these other festivals he's got six six as well but what i'm saying is it's one of my friends who's been playing since, uh, when, when did he start playing? Just before the release of, I want to say he started playing during the first KOF collab. And he, and both of them have the same constellation. They're on the, the same percent constellation. They're on this constellation, about 40% each. Bear in mind, one was a whale. He's been playing for not as long. And one's a free to play player. He's not spent a single pound on the game. And they're still at the same constellation. And that is because this game, yes, it is RNG based. When you Even when talking about constellations, it's somewhat RNG based. Because unlocking characters when somebody on a banner does require RNG. As you can see here, I've not pulled some of these characters. Even though Rox has been on some banners or summoned on, definitely these lot have. Uh, and a few of these others as well. But. It does reward uh, more longer time players. Is it really insane? Like the amount of crit resistance, pierce ray, all those attack related stats you get. It's pretty insane. If you look at it, I get 665 extra attack. 
If you think about it, when I do my videos, when I do uh, demonic beasts, or I do like PvP and stuff like that, these stats are also added onto my character, so you can see my character's doing all this really high damage, and you can have the exact same team as me, but you may not be putting out the same damage because of my constellation. Which is kind of absurd, because think about the characters like Melly, who are very, very pierce rate related. He's got a pierce AoE, he's got a pierce single target skill. I get an extra 11.4% pierce rate, just flat. So that increases his damage dealt flat then, then plus the attack increase as well. If you think about it, characters that I do have pierce cards actually benefit more from constellations than characters that have, I don't know, spike or sever. Because pierce rate, you get a lot more pierce rate than you do crit chance and crit damage. And also sever cards are most likely going to crit anyway, because three times crit chance. There are not many characters in the game that you could probably struggle to crit. Uh, probably first of all Merlin. First of all Merlin with, uh, my, with my constellations. Uh, with her passive maxed, with all her outfits, and with the Nanashi buff, has about 200% crit resistance, which means the only person who's really going to be able to crit her is LR Lost Vein and Tear. They're the only two characters that are really going to be able to crit, unless another character has Sever, then of course they'll be able to crit as well. But the only the characters with absurdly high crit chance are going to be able to crit uh, characters uh, like that, who have insanely high crit resistance. And you know, high crit defense is also good as well. Yes, having really high crit resistance from a constellation is also kind of bad for characters uh, like Lost Vein, but the really high crit defense is also really good because that's kind of what you want. But this also does help uh, when you see these YouTubers, uh, I mean like the whale YouTubers like Nag or Murley or Speedy or Sora, and them doing a video when they showcase a collaboration character, with that, mostly that being like an old one, and them trying like a meme team or uh, like a new festival or a new collab, that you see them putting out these insane numbers and you think, oh, you know, I'm, I'm going to try this. And you try it and you realize, no, you can't do it. But the main reason you realize you can't do it is because, A, you probably don't have the outfits because they're collab characters if you're a free-to-play player. But also constellations and box ECs because constellation, yeah, you know, you can see you get all of these. But box EC, when you reach 13 million, you start to gain attack, which is kind of my aim. My goal is I want to get to 13 million only because they're, I mean, I've maxed out the HP because the 13 million, no, uh, 12 million HP maxes out. Uh... Don't know if defense maxes out yet. We don't know because it's capped to 17 million currently. It probably will get to 20 mil uh, by like next year sometime. But, you know, the increased attack is kind of insane. 1% doesn't sound like a lot, but it is. It's quite a bit. If you get in 1% of 1,000, that's a 10 extra attack. It's quite, it doesn't sound like much, but it's quite big. Especially when attack is the uh, lowest stat in the game in terms of uh, like ever obtainability. Like defense, you can run six pieces of defense and get three boat boosts of sixty percent HP. Uh, of course, it's much easier to get HP because HP is a lot more abundant, and attack being the lowest uh, because it's attack. That's the reason why they completely nerfed that full defense-based um, Grimmel to the ground because defense scales a lot higher than attack but that's a whole different thing for another day but constellations do make a really big difference and if you do want to farm constellations i highly recommend uh leveling up sr and rare characters mainly because they are cheaper on sa coins but they do not require or rare characters don't require so our pendants to get to 100 so as long as you're farming your demons daily you do get a lot of uh materials to level up characters as you can see here if you were to look at my box, I think I around I have I've just I have I have all I know is I have over a hundred level hundred characters, and I'm free to play. And some of these characters you just don't need level hundred. Like, what does this man even do? Cool, I don't I didn't even know he did that. You know, I've got some characters I don't even care about, or I've just done for a video, like this Estrosa, which I made for probably a video that I haven't even uploaded because it was probably flopped, and I couldn't be asked to do the video, or you know, just other characters in general. I've just leveled up just for box EC. Uh, characters I've just leveled up for box EC. This slime remover, I will get him to SX6 because, well, he's 6 6. Give him a full rare set as well, of course, for box EC. But for GP points, you want to really be super awakening and unlocking new characters. Getting outfits, uh, one piece of outfit will give you one. Getting the whole set will, of course, give you three. And so, the, probably the best way to get it is from super awakening and obtaining characters. Obtaining characters is probably the hardest. Because of course you have to summon, and there's a chance you get anyone. But 
Yeah, constellations do make a really, really big difference, especially when you see uh, guides, you see like, these free-to-play guides. Uh, of course, unless you know they show you, like, oh, they're only on Constellation 3, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, that's completely fine. But for someone like me, and I make, I'm a, I make a free-to-play guide, because that's what I do. I make free-to-play guides for people. And there is now this level of, like, I'm free-to-play, but because I've been playing for such a long time, I have these added bonuses. People can run the exact same team as me, and, you know, my character might live with one HP, but theirs won't, because, well, I have more HP, I've got more resistance, I've got more crit resistance, I've got more defense, you know, I've got all of these added things that this uh, constellations add. Do I think it was a good good thing to add? Yes, in terms of progression-wise. Uh, bigger numbers means good, sort of thing, because, well, you know, it makes your CC look better and ungeared and geared, you know, you're able to reach higher levels, you know, the added substats is nice for PvE, and yes, it is something good, but I do think that there needs to be another way to do it uh, to obtain GP points that you know, maybe doesn't involve you unlocking a character, but it's like, oh, there's a dungeon which you can do every like once a month and it gives you X amount sort of thing. Just another way to obtain them because especially for uh, newer players or for players that sort of hit a brick wall in terms of characters they can unlock because... Currently, I've hit a brick wall of characters I can unlock. As you can see, every character here is either seasonal or not obtainable currently right now. What I mean by right now is, if you were to, uh, you know, install the game and there was to be a festival going on, or sorry, there, there was to be the current AOT collab, the only character you could obtain that I do not have is this Roxy. But, as we look at this banner, there's nothing really worth me getting. I got, th I think I got like three or four copies of Mono, so now she's five, six. You know, and something that I highly recommend uh, if you are, you know, push, trying to push box EC, trying to super work in characters. If I was to show you my old levels for characters, even for characters that are completely useless, you know, the uh, Kings, it is the festival dupe. I'm not going to give it to him unless he gets a good LR. Okay, there's a reason. But characters like Denzel, all these characters here. You know, I've got them 6-6 six, six just for the sake of every alt level gives you three boxes, uh, three GP points. So that's the reason rare characters and SR characters also give the same, but are very easily obtainable and are not really that valuable. So they're also very good ones to level up, and obviously the lower you go down, probably the lower the old gauge. Yeah, just characters. I got her 4-6, oh my god. But, you know, box, uh, box CC and constellations do really make an impact. And, you know, if you have the ability to push them, if you have, like, uh, either you're a whale uh, or you are a, a long-time player, pushing box CC and, and GP points is a very slow task. And it's very painful, it's very boring, and it's very tedious, but you do end up feeling the insane amount of, like, like, not to say this in our power, but the insane increase you get. For example, I go to my PvP team, 194k. These three are all old characters. This is a new character. Yes, all my links are 6-6, six, six, and yes, I do have LR Escador as a link, and my Queen Deanne's completely wailed as a link, and, you know, so are these two. But, you know, 194k isn't bad for a free-to-play player. Bear in mind, the only person on that team that has outfits in terms of actually on the team is Liz. I've not bought outfits for her, or him, or Demon King, only Liz. And 194k isn't bad. Bear in mind, I'm probably going to be running Evade Food, and I'm probably going to be out seeing most players who are running Evade Food. Most players are either be running CC Food, that will you know, be able to out -CC me, but most of my extra CC comes from is Constellations. Constellations and Box CC. So it is a big thing, uh, PvE and PvP alike. Do I think that it needs to be changed to make it easier? No, I do think there should be more ways to obtain GP points, maybe through upgrading equipment to sort of make... Uh, the pushing of box CC and GP points uh, sort of equal. So like, uh, if you max out one piece of rare gear, you get one GP point. SR gear, two GP points. Uh, SSR gear, three GP points. Sort of that sort of thing. To sort of entice people to make these gear sets. Because some people, well, this is what I do now when I get bored of making gear sets. I just un UR one for a character I don't use or is not good anymore. Just give it to the newest one. You know, and I make rare gear. If, you, if, if I was to show you my box and just like a random character that's not Iori. Uh, look, just random gear, not, not even Max, just random gear. This is just for boxes. 
Like half of these, and that's what I'm doing, just going through my characters. Uh, just random box CC sets. And that's the reason why I've actually got these characters favorited up here. So I, they're all level 100, and I'm going to give them uh, rare gear just to make the most out of their level 100 and their C6 to get the most out of the percentage, uh, the percentage boosts from the CC, from the uh, gear bonuses. But anyway, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Do you know only 5.3% of you are subscribed?